here is five things that you have to be mindful about before you start manifesting anything in your life uh, because sometimes the reason um, our manifestation doesn't come or it's coming slow or it's taking like forever to come and we don't usually know why it could be of these five reasons that I am about to share with you so stay tuned number one the number one thing you guys are gonna be like oh my gosh you talk about this all the time but yes you have to heal oh my gosh i know i sound like a broken record when i talk about healing but it's true you have to heal that is the first thing of why sometimes our manifestation doesn't come in always taking forever to come in or it just like you get frustrated because you waiting for it or you waiting for us for a specific outcome and we waiting for these things to come in not knowing that there are things within us and within our um within our lives or past you know past traumas that we do have to face we do have to heal we do have to clear away before we start to manifesting or before our manifestation come to the physical so that's number one number two letting go um Healing and letting go kind of like follow each other. It's like the same thing. When you heal, you have to learn to let go of that trauma. You got to feel it, feel the energy, and then you got to let it go. Because that energy that you're currently in or your past energy, it's probably very low frequency. So you have to bring your energy up. You have to bring your energy up. And how do you bring your energy up? You have to meet your manifestation. You have to match the frequency that you are you are trying to bring in. So you gotta let go of that low vibration, and, you know, that low vibration mindset, that low vibration thing, low vibration people, and start raising your frequency and start meeting your manifestation halfway. So, um, some of the times the things you want something and need something when we trying to manifest something in our lives just because it's not coming in does not mean that you know um you're not gonna get it M many times it's because when we want something we think it's the best thing for us and if the universe see that this is not gonna be a good thing for you or it's not gonna like last for a very long time it it, it kind of like hold it so you can and show you signs that you can you know kind of like rethink about what you're asking for is like to make sure like are you really sure this is what you really want or this is who you really want to be with because the reason i say that let me tell you why example say there's someone that you want to be with okay you want this relationship um, you've been going back and forth with yourself and that person because you want this relationship. You want this to work, right? So technically, if this is what you want, you consciously, you thinking about it, if you're thinking about it and you want it, you kind of like manifesting it into your life. Now, this is where it gets tricky. You can want something and then the universe bring that thing in or that person in and then that person start acting up or that person um start showing you red flags and start showing you signs on why you know it's not a good idea to move forward with this person or it's not a, a good idea to get yourself um with this particular person and and time and time again the universe is going to show you going to give you tests and they're going to show you like to make sure if this is what you really want the reason that, because that happened to me, I know. I wanted this particular person, and time and time again, that person would show me that, no, this is not what I want, until this last go-round. Because the universe is going to keep sending the same person back until you really open your eyes to see, like, like you sure this is what you want? Before we make this happen, you sure? Um, so it's like a test. And thank God you know uh, um the universe brought that person in 
for the last go round, and it kind of when the person came in, it came in with the same energy, the same thing. Um, then my energy started going out of bang, out of whack. Like it was like up and down, up and down. My emotions was all over the place, and and then I, I caught myself. You know, I caught myself feeling like that. I'm like, gosh, why am I feeling like this? I haven't felt like this in a long time. Like, why am I feeling like this? Something is going on. And then, now you know, when you start healing, there's a level of connection you have with your spirit team. So you know how to tap in to know where is this coming from. And then when I went into my meditation state, like I started meditating and I was like, oh my gosh, this this guy man it's just like god why <laughs> you know and and once i saw that i was like yeah this is a reminder like i was like and i and i went back to you know the universe i went back and i'm like yeah i don't want this i i, I don't you will know when someone is either doing like like say like magic or something throwing certain things towards you and you will know when someone is around you is kind of like throwing your energy off because you got to pay attention to yourself. That's why it's so important to heal because you know when something is not your emotion and you know when something is not your own thought. So when you start thinking about certain things and you start going back and thinking about the past, revisiting the past and keep hurting yourself, that's when you have to know and be like, yeah, it's either someone is, you know, throwing certain things towards you to kind of like hold you back so you could you know kind of throw off your emotions or there's someone around you that you literally need you need to like really cut them out completely you know um because you know many times when people come towards us and and i want to make this very clear when people come towards us, you see the flesh, but there is certain spirit when it want to stop you, you know, it could jump in different bodies and those, unfortunately, it could be those people that's around you, you know, and I had to learn that. That's why it's so important to tap in, to heal and connect yourself with your spirit team because you got to have discernment and you got to know when your manifestation is coming, this is the time the enemy, the low vibration energy keep throwing things at you, throwing things at you and you got to know how to dodge those bullets. So you start having like thoughts that you know you would normally don't think about things like that or you don't, you don't really think about a certain type of person or whatever you don't revisit the past like that then that's when you know it, that's like the universe allowing this to happen so you could check in in yourself and you could like sit back and be like yeah this is not my thought yeah this 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 is not my energy so i didn't used to know back then now i do know so when that happened that's why i say you gotta visit my Etsy store get you your little bell when that happened when you meditating Clear that energy out. Clear it out because you do not want anything to lower your vibration so it could kind of stop your manifestation from coming in. Trust me, it happened to me so many times. I had to keep going back and reworking on myself because spiritually, you always working on yourself. Always, 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 always. So number four, I think that was number three, right? Yeah. So number four, um, self-care. You have to make time for yourself you got to go in find out what is going on what do you what are you still holding on to what do you need to let go what do you need to cut ties with like behavior the way you, you you think the way you talk about yourself the way you respond to things you you got to make time for yourself because that's the only way you will start to learn more about yourself so self-care is needed Whatever that means to you, if it's meditating, if it's yoga, if it's, you know, treating yourself to like dinner or something, um, whatever it is, um, you, you, you got to take time for yourself and write down all your emotions throughout the day journaling. <laughs> so number five, um, I know some of you guys probably 
don't believe in it, whatever. But really cleansing your aura by seeing a Reiki practitioner, by getting a massage. Believe it or not, massage is so, so like, you know, so beneficial when it comes to stuff like that. You have no idea. It really, really help you. Massage. Getting a Reiki done to balance that energy within, you know, yourself because... When you do Reiki, it kind of balance, you know, some of the things, you know, balance that chakra. You understand? So it, I think this should go with, you know, um, four because that's still part of self-care. But cleansing our aura, getting spiritual, a spiritual bath. Like literally getting a spiritual bath, get, you know, if you, and spiritual bath doesn't have to, you don't have to go through like a practitioner to get a spiritual bath. You know how I feel about these things. Um, when it comes to you, it better if you tap into your own energy so you could get to know yourself so you can start helping yourself. This is what I, I, I'm about because I, I don't like any little thing for, for you guys to just go to a practitioner. You need to learn how to do your own thing, you know? So getting a spiritual bath get some herbs get some you know holy basil you know go get some beach water go to the beach and cleanse yourself get some sea salt take care of yourself your body you know and another thing if it's like if you feel like it's a it's a a, a partner that's been in your life that is literally throwing off your energy that is kind of blocking you in and that is someone that you recently had um sexual intercourse with and you want to literally cut them off your energy because sometimes some of these people they feed off your energy like uh, there's a lot of people that i know for a fact was feeding off my energy you know and 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 many times people keep us around because so they could feed off our energy so they could feed off our light and some men or women will use your energy to really go and trying to manifest and then when that energy start going low they will come back that's why you have these flighty you know individuals that come in and out of your life these are things i had to literally learn on my own so when you if it's someone like that then that's when you need to do a, 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 a vagina steam you need to do a like a really good sacred v steam again I have like Steam, V Steam on my Etsy shop. Check it out. Check it out on my Etsy shop. Check the I have the link in my you know my bio, so you can always you know get you a, um, a Yoni Pearl, Yoni Steam, cleanse that energy out, cleanse that person's energy out, and you pay attention. Please, please pay attention. If someone is coming to you and when they come to you, they life is already chaotic and they're already going to some type of tower moment in their life and they're coming towards you, avoid that person. They are coming in for a reason. Avoid that person. Let people go through their own tower moment, their own karma on their own so they could learn from it. Stop you know, putting yourself in the middle when someone is going through things. Oh my gosh, I do that so much now that I'm really learning to just let people go. When I see they're going through something, I had to learn the hard way to actually let people go through whatever they're going through because um, if your life, if things are going good for you and someone is coming in and they're coming with a lot of chaos they have a lot of chaos going on in their life there's a reason they're going through that and you got to be able to step back and allow the person to go through that because once you allow them in in your energy and god forbid if you're like sleeping with that person that energy will transfer to you you are trying to really get yourself attached to whatever they got going on i am telling you i had to learn this and I could not understand for the life of me why my manifestation was taking forever. I'm like, what is going on? And that's when you got to be able to tap in. Tap in. You know when something is not your energy. And you know when either someone is sending that energy towards you or projecting that energy towards you. Or when someone is doing something behind the scene, kind of like conjuring up a whole entity you know, like a spirit and just send it there and it just to block you and you start procrastinating, you start feeling like 
down you start feeling like you know like things are not going good when things are actually are going good in your life you start doubting yourself and stuff so you really got to pay attention to these things that's why it's very important to build a relationship with your own spirit team your own your own ancestor or with god you know if that's what you believe in or with god because you have to have discernment to know when something is working against you or when something is blocking you, especially when it comes to manifest your manifestation. You you gotta pay attention. You really do. You really, really do. So I think I think that's it. If I think of any more, then I'll come back and, you know, <laughs> do another video. But um so far these are the things that I could think of and in my experience, they work. Oh, also, um, if it's someone that you you recently cut off for a specific reason and you are trying to manifest something and things has been going good for you and randomly that person is hitting you up or they want to see you or they trying to come back in, that's a sign that your manifestation is on its way and there is something that's there to block you. <laughs> that's that's another sign and another thing keep everything to yourself don't share your plans your next move with no one cut everybody off cut every single person off be selfish be selfish because you might love some of these individuals you might love them but that doesn't mean that uh, energy cannot shape shift and jump into their body and use their body and start doing things or doing malicious things towards you. Because sometimes these entities attach themselves to the people that you really, really love and they could use that person's body to, to you know, to shape shift and, and trying to stop you. So that's why it's important to just cut everybody off and don't say nothing to nobody you don't owe no one no explanation on why you cutting people off just do it <laughs> just do it 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 you don't owe nobody nothing cut everybody off cut everybody off and do not allow yourself to share your next move or share your goals your plans with anyone go ghost so i hope this was very very helpful for you and don't forget to visit my etsy shop the link is in my bio or i'll put it somewhere in this video um get your handbell so when you feel that chaotic energy send it away you know send it away because it's not yours <laughs> so thank you guys for watching until next time love you